Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? And what we have here, label this as equation one and this as equation two. From equation one, we can make y the subjects. As this we have y equals to 10 minus x. Then also from equation two, which is x times y equals to 10. We substitute the value of y here. And this becomes x times 10 minus x equals to 10 to this side. As this next step here, x open this bracket, and we have 10x minus x square equals to 10. And when we rearrange here, we have minus x square plus 10x. Then 10 comes here, become minus 10. And equals to zero here. But this here we multiply through by minus one. Multiply this through by minus one, and this becomes plus x square minus ten x plus ten. Then equals to zero here. And here we have quadratic equation where a equals to one, b equals to minus ten, and c equals to ten. And apply the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. As this here we have x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 over 2 times 1 that is here yeah, we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus as this 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared that's 100 minus 4 times 1 times 10 that's 40 then over 2 here then Next step here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40 that gives us 60 over 2. And also we can rewrite 60 as 4 times 15 which implies this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15 all over 2. And from where we have root a times b which you can separate as root a times root b what we have here now becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 all over 2 then from here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 that's 2 then times root 15 all over so, as this from here, we factor two halves and we have x equals to 2 into brackets 5 plus or minus root 15 all over 2. Now, these two here cancelled each other. And this becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15. And we have the two we have two values of x here the first one x1 equals to 5 plus root 15 and the second one x2 equals to 5 minus root 15. then next step here we find the corresponding value of y using the relation y equals to 10 minus x now this here we have y1 equals to 10 minus x1, which is 5 plus root 15. Then minus open this bracket. And we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5, then minus root 15. As this here, we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5, that's 5, then minus root 15. As this is the first set of solution, x1, y1. Now we write it out. That's x1 comma y1. That same thing as 
5 nodes. Root 15, comma 5 minus root 15. Then also, we get the value of y2 here using the same relation. That is y2 equals to 10 minus x2, which is 5 minus root 15. That is here we have y2 equals to minus, open this bracket, you have 10 minus 5 and plus 15. That is y2 here equals to 10 minus 5, that's 5, 10 plus root 15. Also, we have the second set of solution x2, y2 here. When we write it out, we have x2, comma, y2. And this equals to 5 minus root 15, comma, 5 plus root 15. Then, let's check if this satisfies this given problem. That is... We substitute the value of x and y in equation 1 and equation 2. From equation 1, which is x plus y equals to 10. When we substitute the value of x and y, that is, we can use the first set of solution. x is 5 plus root 15, then plus y, that's 5 minus root 15. And is equals to 10 on this side. And this here, root 15 minus root 15 comes to each other. And we have 5 plus 5. Is it equals to 10 from this side? And 5 plus 5 here, that's 10. Which is equals to 10 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And this, this solution here satisfy equation 1. Also for equation 2, which is x times y equals to 10. We substitute the value of x and y. We have 5 plus root 15 times y, which is 5 minus root 15. This is equals to 10 on this side. And this follows when we have a plus b into brackets, open brackets, a minus b. Which can be written as a square minus b square. And here, a is same thing as 5. That's 5 square minus b. That's root 15. And we have root 15 square. This is equals to 10 on this side. And 5 square, I write as 25. Then minus. Square can square root as 15. This is equals to 10 from here. 25 minus 15, that's 10. This is equals to 10 here. And we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, these two solutions also satisfy the second equations. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.